So just a quick one, this video was meant to be called training at Kipchoge race pace or training at Kipchoge marathon pace. I didn't train well and at the end of the day Kipchoge marathon pace is very hard. Like I'm like official PVs of 1409, 2906 and 807 for 3000 and Kipchoge marathon pace for me is hard to even sustain for a very short period of time. Like I think my 5k is just a tiny bit faster than Kipchoge's marathon pace and as you can see in this workout you're about to see if you have an off day even for me and many runners I guess probably even better than me or similar ability it's so hard to actually run at that pace consistently well. Kipchoge's marathon pace is extremely fast extremely fast and I struggle to run it sometimes when I'm not feeling great that session was one of those times I was that fresh at the end of the session. Also, I know a lot of people will be wondering what shoes I was wearing, just in case you can't see it in the video. So for the miles, I was wearing the Adidas Takumi Sen 8, and don't let how I did in the miles affect how 
you think of the shoe because it is a very very good shoe in fact there's a review for this shoe in the description if you haven't seen a review on this or don't own a pair then for the 5ks i was wearing the vaporfly next percent two it's the vaporfly everyone knows the vaporfly and for my 800s at the end i was wearing the adidas avanti tkyo it's like abbreviation of tokyo i think but it's got the light strike pro super foam in and the rods this shoe I need to do a bit more testing with because I really like it, but it kind of aggravates my calves a bit. So I don't know if I prefer it to the Dragonfly just yet. So I need to run it a bit more to the side, but it's a very, very good shoe and it's the Adidas Super Spike. 